Welcome devoted followers of cults and crimes to another riveting chapter in the Annals of Darkness. Today we embark on a journey into the heart of horror, exploring the enigmatic tale of the Children of Thunder. In the quiet town of Crestwood, a sinister cult emerged, leaving an indelible mark on the community during the unsettling 1980s. Brace yourselves as we unravel the chilling details of a series of murders that shook the very foundations of this unsuspecting town. Join me, your guide through the shadows, as we delve into the Genesis mysteries and aftermath of the Children of Thunder, an odyssey into the macabre that still echoes through time. This is Cults and Crimes, and I'm your host. Let's uncover the secrets that lie beneath the surface. Act 1. The Genesis In the seemingly tranquil town of Crestwood, the stage was set for an enigmatic tale that would haunt the community for years to come. The Children of Thunder, a cult shrouded in mystery, emerged from the shadows, casting an ominous presence over the unsuspecting residents. It was the genesis of a series of chilling murders that would rock the foundations of this quiet town. As whispers of the cult's existence circulated, fear and paranoia took root among the locals. The Children of Thunder operated in secrecy, their clandestine meetings and rituals hidden from the prying eyes of those who would dare to uncover the truth. The very air in Crestwood became charged with an unspoken terror, as the cult's influence extended like a creeping shadow. The genesis of this macabre saga can be traced back to the charismatic yet sinister figure who led the Children of Thunder. A magnetic personality, the cult leader drew followers into a web of apocalyptic prophecies and promises of a higher purpose. The unsuspecting residents, seeking solace and meaning, found themselves entangled in a dark force that would propel them toward a path of unthinkable violence. The cult's genesis was marked by a series of eerie incidents, strange symbols painted on abandoned buildings, cryptic messages left in public spaces, and an air of foreboding that permeated the town. Residents, initially dismissing these signs as mere coincidences, soon realized they were living in the grips of something far more sinister. In this genesis, the stage was set for a narrative that transcended the ordinary, as the Children of Thunder prepared to unleash a wave of terror that would echo through the halls of history. Little did Crestwood know, their peaceful existence was about to be shattered and the darkness that lurked in the shadows would soon take center stage in a chilling tale of crime and cult fanaticism. Act 2. The Cult's Enigma In the shadows of Crestwood's once peaceful streets, a sinister enigma took root, the haunting tale of Odi Children of Thunder. Central to this ominous narrative is a magnetic figure, the cult's leader who skillfully wove apocalyptic prophecies to ensnare the vulnerable souls of the town. The cult's mystique extends beyond the physical acts of violence. It lies in the very essence of their beliefs. The Children of Thunder saw themselves as architects of a cosmic upheaval guided by a twisted morality that sanctioned brutality as a means to a dark end. Crestwood, once bathed in the glow of serenity, now found itself shrouded in an otherworldly gloom. Imagine secret gatherings obscured from prying eyes, where cryptic symbols adorned the walls and ominous chants echoed through the night. These rituals, concealed from the community, painted a vivid picture of a cult steeped in mysticism and malevolence. The enigmatic ceremonies served both as a manifestation of their beliefs and a tool of manipulation, tightening the cult's grip on the hearts and minds of its followers. This psychological journey into the minds of those ensnared by the cult's allure unveils the motivations behind seemingly ordinary individuals, abandoning reason for a profoundly macabre belief system. The answers lie in the delicate interplay of vulnerability, manipulation, and the human quest for purpose in the face of an uncertain world. Join me as we unravel the intricate threads of the Children of Thunder's Enigma, a tale where the supernatural converges with the vulnerabilities of the human psyche, forever altering the course of Crestwood's history. Act 3. The Murders Unfold In the ominous 1980s, Crestwood bore witness to a series of murders that cast a pall of fear over its once serene streets. The descent into darkness orchestrated by the Children of Thunder unfolded with a sinister precision, leaving an indelible mark on the community. Each murder a malevolent stroke in the cult symphony of violence followed a calculated pattern that struck at the very heart of Crestwood's sense of security. Crime scenes became haunting displays of the cult's malevolence, each one etching a chilling chapter into the town's history. The residents, once shielded by the illusion of safety, found themselves grappling with a reality stained by the macabre acts committed in the name of a foretold apocalypse. As we delve into the details of these crimes, 
The calculated brutality becomes apparent, revealing a cult that shows its victims with a sinister purpose. The psychological toll on those directly affected and the ripple effect on the community create a tapestry of horror that transcends the physical manifestations of violence. Images of crime scenes flash before our eyes, stark reminders of the profound impact the Children of Thunder had on Crestwood. The investigation, a desperate pursuit of justice, unfolds against the backdrop of a town haunted by the specter of its own vulnerability. Join me as we navigate through the chilling details, patterns, and the deep-seated psychological scars left in the wake of the Children of Thunder's murderous spree, a dark chapter that forever changed Crestwood and its residents. Act 4. The Investigation as we dive into the depths of the Children of Thunder's narrative, we uncover a relentless investigation that sought to unveil the elusive truths behind the cult's malevolent activities. Law enforcement, faced with the daunting task of unraveling a clandestine network, embarked on a journey fraught with challenges, twists, and an ever-present sense of urgency. The investigators tasked with bringing the Children of Thunder to justice found themselves navigating a complex web of secrecy and deception. Every step forward was met with shadows and veils as the cult operated with a level of cunning that mirrored the very darkness they propagated. The pursuit of truth became a high-stakes game with the town's safety hanging in the balance. From tireless detectives to forensic experts, the investigation into the cult's activities demanded a multifaceted approach. The town of Crestwood, once unsuspecting, now bore witness to a law enforcement apparatus strained to its limits, grappling with the enigmatic nature of the Children of Thunder. The cult's sinister influence reached far beyond the crime scenes, permeating every layer of the community. As investigators pieced together evidence, delved into the cult's rituals, and sought to decipher the cryptic symbols left behind, a race against time unfolded. The very fabric of Crestwood's security rested on the shoulders of those determined to expose the truth. The pursuit of justice was not merely about solving crimes. It was a battle against the encroaching darkness that threatened to consume the town. Join me as we delve into the intricate dance between law enforcement and the Children of Thunder, an investigation that became a crucible, testing the mettle of those committed to preserving the town's safety and revealing the chilling secrets hidden beneath Crestwood's veneer of normalcy. Aftermath As the dust settled on Crestwood, the aftermath of the Children of Thunder's reign of terror painted a haunting portrait of a town forever altered. The scars left behind, both physical and psychological, bore witness to a community grappling with the aftermath of the cult's malevolent activities. In the wake of the Children of Thunder's exposure, Crestwood faced a collective reckoning. The once serene town found itself standing on the precipice of healing, but the wounds inflicted by the cult's violence ran deep. Families of victims were left to navigate a landscape of grief and trauma, their lives forever marked by the chilling events that unfolded within the shadows. The aftermath extended beyond the personal toll, permeating the very fabric of the community. Trust, once an unspoken foundation, now hung in fragile threads. The town, once a close-knit haven, became a place where the whispers of the past echoed through every interaction. Crestwood was forced to confront the unsettling reality. The darkness could infiltrate even the most idyllic of setting. Yet, amidst the despair, stories of resilience and strength emerged. Survivors united by shared trauma formed bonds that transcended the horrors they endured. Crestwood, scarred but not defeated, began the arduous journey of rebuilding, a process that extended beyond physical structures to the collective spirit of the community. As we reflect on the aftermath, we witness the town's evolution from a symbol of vulnerability to a testament of resilience. Join me in exploring the lasting impact on Crestwood, the stories of those who found strength and solidarity, and the indomitable spirit that emerged from the shadows. The aftermath is not just a conclusion, but a new beginning, a chance for Crestwood to redefine itself in the aftermath of darkness. As we conclude our journey through the chilling tale of the Children of Thunder, Crestwood's history stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit in the face of dark. The cult's enigma, the unfolding murders, the relentless investigation, and the haunting aftermath have woven a narrative that transcends the ordinary, a narrative etched into the very soul of the town. In the aftermath of the Children of Thunder's reign, Crestwood faced adversity head-on, emerging scarred but resilient. The collective strength of the community, the pursuit of justice, and the bonds forged in the crucible of tragedy illuminate a path toward healing and redemption. 
Thank you, devoted viewers, for joining me on this exploration into the Macabre. If you found this journey as riveting as I have, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of cults and crimes. Your support allows us to continue unraveling the mysteries that lurk in the shadows. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay informed, and never underestimate the power of exposing the truth. This is your host from Cults and Crimes, signing off. See you in the next episode, where darkness meets revelation and the untold stories continue to unfold.